Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how you can create your own custom toolbox in MATLAB environment and share it with your friends or colleagues uh, to use it. So why do we need custom toolbox? So say for example, you have certain scripts or certain functions, MATLAB functions or certain things like certain models, which is your own personally designed and you want to integrate it into the MATLAB environment permanently so that whenever you restart, you start your MATLAB, you don't have to go to that particular folder or set that particular path, uh, add that path into the MATLAB to use those uh, scripts. If you want to have it permanently, permanently installed in your uh, MATLAB environment, you can create your uh, own toolbox and then distribute it uh, or install it in your uh, environment and it always be, will be there. You can also, advantages, you can also share it on another, another machine and quickly install and use it. So those are the flexibility. So for the simplicity of this uh, video, I will just create some few simple uh, custom functions uh, which you may, uh, just to show an example. So say for example, I will create, a, let me first create a MATLAB function. So I will create um, my sum. This will do nothing but it will just add two numbers which it will take as an input and add it as an output. So I just need one output argument. I won't, uh, yeah, I will just do it very quickly so that we can save time in this video to do other stuffs. Yeah, so I just save this uh, uh, .m file as my sum .m. Okay, now let me create one more uh, this uh, MATLAB function and I will uh, name it as my product my product so and I just remove this remove this yes save it as my product so now we have my sum in my product uh, dot m file so whenever you have to use right, like right now if you want to use my sum uh, it's say for example 2 and plus 2 and and it gives you an uh, output of 5 which is of course correct it just adds 2 and 3 we can also use uh, my product and use same 2 comma 3 and it should be give 6 which is the output but that's fine it's working perfectly fine as long as you are in this uh, path but say for example you create one more new folder and say my folder or you are in some, some other path and now if you try to use it it doesn't work because this is not found in the uh, MATLAB path because this is in some other path. So one way is you can add that into your MATLAB path, this this uh, folder so that it resides in the path. But in this video, I'll show you how you can create a toolbox out of it and uh, install it on your machine. So to create toolbox, once you have all your files created, whatever you want to include that toolbox, go to your uh, home and add on. And over here you will find a uh, option called package toolbox. Just click on this. And over here you can uh, add the files which are there. Okay, it says you to add the folder. So we select the my custom toolbox and it will just uh, uh, automatically add all the things. And then you can just uh, click on this package and it will create a uh, Okay, it, it is asking you to save the project. So basically, yeah, you have to save this uh, toolbox creating project first. Uh, so once we click on save, it will create a PRG file. But please note, this is not your uh, toolbox. The toolbox is this with an extension called MLTBX, if you are able to see it over here. Yeah, okay. And uh, uh, no, we don't need to open the output folder. So yeah. So <coughs> The advantage of this PRJ file is that if you do any changes and you want to recreate your toolbox, you can quickly open this and just add or subtract the files over here and whatever you want. Say for example, I don't want this folder to be created. So you can just uh, delete that folder from here or delete that file from here and uh, uh, do it. So say for example, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so it shows uh, the complete list of the files and folders here and you can redo the packaging and it will recreate that uh, MLTBX file which we have already got save changes to do. No, we don't want to do any save changes. 
I want to keep it simple. Yeah. So this is the your toolbox. And now, if you want to say, for example, if you want to use it, it is still not in your environment. It is not installed. So how we can test it? I go change the path so that uh, the functions are not in my MATLAB path. And I try to use it. It still gives that error that my product is not found in the current folder or MATLAB path. So one way is I just double click and it gets installed. So uh, should I install it? Is the date is of today and I just click on install and it gets installed. So if you see over here, it will uh, give you this kind of um, message that the toolbox is already installed. You can either click and see on this also that it will show you the toolbox version 1.0 has been installed on 15th of August and I can create the folder where it is installed. It's usually in your app data folder, but uh, it's, it's of, uh, not much use and it, it will show you the files which are there in this particular toolbox. You can even uninstall this toolbox and do various kinds of stuff in this window. I close this and now if I change this folder, say for example, so I would expect that uh, this is not in the MATLAB path, but this this if I rerun this command, it will run fine because it, it is in my toolbox, which I have already installed in my MATLAB environment. Perfect. So if I go to the other one, my son, yeah. So, yeah. So this way you can see like, um, uh, you have this uh, my sum and my product installed in your toolbox, and uh, it is uh, it is in your environment. If, even if you close this, you can it is in your environment, and you can use it. And yeah, so in this video, I just wanted to show you this that how you can create a simple toolbox and install it in your MATLAB environment. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please uh, please put it in my comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.